Hello everyone. I've always found Christmas to be a beautiful time of the year. As Christians, of course, we gather to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. In Him, Mary's child, God has become one of us, one with us. When He came into the world, Jesus was born into a family. It's important. It means He's got much to teach us about the dignity, the beauty, and even the fragility of family life. His birth into a family highlights the importance of family relationships for all of us. Maybe that's why we strive so much to be together as families at Christmas time. Personally, I treasure the opportunity to gather for a few days with my own family at Christmas, with my dad, my brother and sisters, and with their children, surrounded by memories and stories of my mother. I discover in my family yet again that they're a wondrous gift of God. In his most recent letter to the church, called Amoris Laetitia, the joy of love, Pope Francis writes, it's a profound spiritual experience to contemplate our loved ones with the eyes of God and to see Christ in them. Well, the birth of Jesus also shows the solidarity of God with families who are suffering, and it calls us to extend to them his mercy. And that call became very real for us in Alberta just this past year. For instance, many parishes united with our Catholic Social Services reached out to welcome Iraqi and Syrian families. Jesus, Mary and Joseph so long ago who became refugees in a foreign land after they escaped persecution and death, these families from the Middle East of today had been uprooted from their homes as they fled violence and destruction. And also this past year, many of our neighbors in Fort McMurray left their homes behind to escape great danger, like the Holy Family had to do. And for me, what they received from fellow Albertans was a real sign of God's empathy and compassion. The response of Albertans was more than just charitable. At times, it was simply heroic. Albertans, our friends, families and neighbors, many of whom themselves may have been adversely affected by the economic downturn, did all that they could to help. As a witness to this, it may be proud to be one of Alberta's adopted sons. More importantly, I recognized in my neighbors a clear invitation from God to assure others in need of the real and enduring presence of Jesus in our world. In Jesus Christ, we discover what it means to be a human being. Since this season often brings loneliness to those who suffer most in our families, I ask that each one of us share this wonderful truth with those around us. The birth of Jesus into a family makes clear that we are born for love and born to love. To be human is to bask in the infinite love of God and to offer our love to Him and to our neighbors in return. It's truly beautiful to see Christ in others. I hope you'll join with me in praying to the Holy Family this Christmas season, that our own families may become schools of mercy, marked by tenderness and forgiveness. On our Archdiocesan website, we've posted a prayer, which I invite you to use, and it's inspired by the beautiful meditations that Pope Francis has given to us in the letter I referred to a few minutes ago. May you and your family enjoy a very Merry Christmas. God bless.